Okay, so something is wrong. Something is very fundamentally incorrect. You may have read the title and been like, oh man, this is just clickbait. There, there's absolutely no way. The worst chapter in fairy tale is you cannot be serious. The series is ending soon. There's no way things can get any worse than they already have been. There's just nothing else Mashima can do to make this worse. Surely he's just gonna finish this series on the high note, you know, just give us a bunch of fan service, a ton of stuff that we, we've always wanted to see. Just have a huge awesome looking action-packed finale. Story be damned at this point, but, but whatever, it'll look cool. That's not what happens. That is not what happens. This is the chapter where Acnologia dies. Acnologia, one of the biggest threats throughout the entire series, has been defeated. And you may argue, oh, what if he comes back? You never know. This chapter confirms that there are only 10 chapters left, but like a volume more worth of content, that is it. So there's really no more time to pull any more bullshit. Like, this is it. Acnologia, he was pushed into the, the ravines of time or whatever the fuck, and he disintegrated, he now ceases to exist. What? The actual fuck was this chapter. Ichia. Ichia is the one to kill Acnologia. That's right, this Ichia. This Ichia. Not only has he never really been an important character, and not only is he almost always comic relief, not only is almost no one's favorite character Ichia, like do people even like this guy? But despite all of that, he is the one to sacrifice himself to kill Acnologia. There, there's so much wrong with this, I don't even know where to begin. For one, Natsu should have been the one to kill Acnologia from the beginning, or at least, you know, deal the final blow. Why? Because Acnologia, if you remember, in an actual good moment from the series, kills Igneal, Natsu's father figure. You would think, as the ultimate revenge move, he, he would be the one to, to kill Acnologia. And you would at least think that, if not Natsu, then a Dragon Slayer would be the one to take out Acnologia. But instead, it was fucking... Ichia. So what does this mean? Well, it means that throughout the entirety of Fairy Tale, the entire series, all 63 or 4, however many volumes they're gonna be, but all of that time, not a single dragon was slain at the hands of a dragon slayer. Then what the fuck was the point of having dragon slayer magic in the first place? Not a single Dragon is killed by a dragon slayer. Like how how incompetent can you possibly be to build up dragon slayer magic for the entire series? Like that was the whole thing. That's what set Natsu apart from everyone else, what made people like, you know, Sting and Rogue and Windy, all, all these people special. It was because they had the ability to kill a dragon. There's only one dragon still around, and he's super evil, and he wants everyone to die. So obviously, you would come to the conclusion that, oh, we're finally gonna see these Dragon Slayer powers put to use to kill an actual dragon. But instead, we get a horseshit comic relief character that I, I guarantee no one cared about, decides to sacrifice himself, drive his ship into Acnologia, pushing him into the stupid time vortex portal, whatever the fuck, and he gets disintegrated into nothing. That was it. There are 10 chapters left. You can't really do anything else at this point. And what's even worse is that we did not learn anything about Acnologia. You know, ever since we saw his human form, I was like, okay, this is pretty much guarantees. We're gonna get a flashback. We're gonna learn all about this guy. He's going to become a much more interesting and well-developed character. Maybe not well-developed, but you know, at least developed somewhat. But now he's gone. There's not enough time left to flesh out the type of person Acnologia was. And we didn't know anything about him. That's literally, I was like, did, did I miss something? Did we get like some weird crazy Acnologia story in the past? I go on the wiki and no, the only thing we know about Acnologia is that 400 years ago, he was human, he was a dick to everyone, he becomes a dragon, he's still a dick, now it's the present day, and he's still a dick. We don't know how he originally became a dick, we don't really know how he became a dragon, we don't know why he's the most powerful thing on the planet, like, like what the fuck is going on? How did Mashima let this happen? This whole Acnologia shit has been really dumb, but I knew, I knew, I was like, guaranteed, okay, their plan's not gonna work, you know some Dragon Slayer's gonna come in, save them at the last minute, take out Acnologia. It may not be dumb, because he can't really save the plot at this point, but at least it would look cool. But oh my god. God! Oh! This is so unbelievably horrible. 
This is like if one of those goofy frog characters killed Madara. This is like if Oolong killed Frieza. People would joke about stuff like this, knowing that it would never actually happen because it's so god-awfully stupid. I seriously want to believe that, that this chapter was just fake, like it didn't happen. Mashima wrote it one time when he was drunk and then accidentally handed this draft into the editor. But of course, this was only half the chapter. Uh, Atsu is fighting Zeref, you know, Lucy did that weird shit, she was rewriting his book, I don't even know what the fuck was up with that. Sora looks like Zeref has been defeated now too. Which, I mean, there's ten chapters left. This very might well be the end of Zeref. Which was also terrible, but Jesus, I mean, at least not to fought him. But you never know if fucking Happy might still go in for the final blow. I can't believe it. I, I truly cannot believe it. Volumes and volumes worth of content of build-up, building up the Dragon Slayers, building up Acnologia, just all falls apart in this one chapter. Jesus Christ. I can't do this anymore. I need to go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You, uh, suppose you can leave your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, fuck, new episode of Long Alert tomorrow.